Shenmue is perhaps my favorite game series of all time. I just always love the Japanese and Chinese mysticism about it. And to date, it's the only game that captures the real life feeling of going on a journey. The game also had an epic storyline that at first seemed simple, but with each installment it just showed just how complex it really was. Unfortunately, all three of the games never sold well, so it seems unlikely we'll ever see creator Yu Suzuki's story the way he intended, and the way he intended to tell for over two decades. But out of nowhere, it was announced last year that Shenmue would be getting an original anime series from Crunchyroll and Adult Swim. It would be titled Shenmue the Animation. The show is being directed by Chikuru Sakurai, the One Punch Man Season 2 director, and the lead role of Ryuzaki would be voiced by the same guy that did the voice in the video game series. Episode 1 premiered last night on Crunchyroll, but it was also on Adult Swim and on Toonami in North America. They'll be doing one episode a week every Sunday. So, I'm just gonna say that I had some serious doubts about the show. I just kept thinking how it's even possible to do a Shenmue anime. There's really not much action in the games, and most of it just has you working a forklift day job and just asking random people about sailors. Do you know any place where sailors hang out? The games were slow, but this is how they were able to mimic reality. Where with the medium of anime, it's very fast paced. I will say, there is some really good slow paced anime, like Monster, but it's not often. So somehow they pulled it off. Episode 1 was actually pretty good. For one, the animation is beautiful. Every character looks detailed and you can immediately recognize the characters from the game. They even bothered to put some of the lesser known characters in it. and. From what I've seen, all the characters in the anime are from the game. Most importantly is Ryo looks great. I just love his design and just how strong they make him. They also show the villain Landy and he looks like a badass. Just by his movements you could tell just how strong he is and unstoppable. The only thing that was kinda off is Fukusan's design. I mean, he looks ripped. Maybe he won't be as annoying in the series as he is in the game, but we'll have to see. Also, the environments look stunning. There's just so much detail and it's just such a beautiful anime to look at. I'm so glad they didn't make it look like Berserk. So glad. The animation just very much feels like the world of Shenmue. And it actually worked really well in the form of a show. I will say, the Shenmue games besides mimicking real life can also be very cinematic. And a lot of the cutscenes in the game do feel like a movie, so I could see kind of where it would fit. The fighting in this also looks really great. Each blow and punch just has so much force and impact behind it. When we see Landy strike Ryo's father, you could just feel it. I was actually surprised just by how much they put in the first episode. It covers the tournament all the way to where we see the intro with Landy killing Ryo's father, and a little bit after that. At this rate, by the next episode, we're probably looking for Charlie already. Charlie? It also seemed like they were more interested in adding more of a relationship with Ryo and Nozomi, and that was something that was always lacking in the first game. And we also get an introduction and a fight with Chai. I was not expecting that in the first episode, considering he's the final boss of the game. I was also surprised that Ryo was already able to beat him, but I'm sure he'll come back and we'll see the fight in the arcade. As for the music, I thought it fit very well with the show. It's more fast paced, kinda more for a modern audience. What's also great is they also bring back the original Shenmue theme. And they play it during all the right moments and you really feel it. It's such a great song. This overall just felt like Shenmue for a more bigger and more accessible audience. 
I could see most people that never heard of the games just enjoying this and maybe being interested in checking them out. If this quality stays consistent for all 13 episodes, then this can be great news for Shenmue fans. If this anime does well, then it will no doubt make funding Shenmue 4 more likely. So there's hope for the fans. So I advise everyone to check out this anime, see if it catches your interest, and then check out the games. You can get Shenmue 1 and 2 HD ports for pretty cheap now, the same with Shenmue 3. So overall, I'm very excited about this show, and I'm excited for the future of Shenmue. And I can't wait for the next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>